Newport News in Review starts right now. Hello, I'm Aaron Pritchett, and welcome to this edition of Newport News in Review for the month of October 2010. Picture perfect skies, unforgettable sunsets, and eye catching colors that are sure to delight, as this beautiful time of year puts on one spectacular display of color. And as fall's beauty continues to unfurl and cooler temperatures move in, it's the perfect opportunity to get outside and enjoy some good old fashioned football. But not just any football, and for that matter, not just at any old football stadium because this month we're taking you under the lights and onto the field for some of the best AAA Peninsula District High School football action around from the very iconic John B. Todd Stadium right here along Warwick Boulevard and Minton Drive. From just one glance, it's quite a sight to see, serene yet exciting, and immediately deep down inside begins to evoke feelings of a very special place where dreams are born, hearts are broken, and memories are made. And for more than 40 years, this field of dreams has been a place to call home for the high schools in the Newport News public school system, giving lifelong citizens and fans a love affair of sorts with the game that allows them to reminisce of years gone by. For the younger generation, a place to hold hands, socialize, and cheer on the team to victory. And for the future athletes of tomorrow, the perfect stage to hone their skills, learn the importance of winning, losing, and learning from it, and the opportunity to hopefully one day make it big. But believe it or not, it's much more than this, because beyond the physical things, like the towering lights, the metal bleachers, and the meticulously manicured field, it's the stadium's namesake that stands out, keeps you guessing, and more importantly, holds the true secret to this very iconic landmark. John Buxton Todd, a name and face that not too many people know, but a man that truly let his talent shine here in this community, in this region, throughout the state of Virginia, and beyond because John Todd made his presence known with his ability to play sports, football, baseball, basketball, and track. But he just didn't play them, he excelled at them, especially out on the gridiron. From leading the former Newport News High School to the first official Virginia State High School football title in 1920, to truly making a name for himself at the College of William & Mary, as quoted in the 1925 Colonial Echo Yearbook. Without exception, Todd has been the greatest center that has ever played on an Indian team. But his memorable time and commitment on the field was no different than how he carried himself off the field, because he went on to graduate with high honors from William and Mary and the Medical College of Virginia School of Dentistry, eventually becoming one of the most respected dentists in the city of Newport News and the state of Virginia. But not even that could tackle him away from his love for sports, and in particular, football. As he became a pioneer in introducing the mouth guard in high school football, and was also seen on numerous occasions on the sidelines, and as one of the most sought after college football officials in the country. So much so that he was picked by the late Newt Rockney to officiate many Notre Dame football games and helped to officiate many major bowl games, including the Orange and Cotton Bowl. So the next time when the lights are on and the football action begins, remember the man and the name behind the stadium, John Buxton Todd, a man who left a legacy a man who loved life and loved the game, always excelling, always achieving, on and off the field, and something that he would want you to remember every time you pass by or step foot in Todd Stadium. Because in the end, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you played the game. We are proud to feature the iconic Todd Stadium and encourage you to support school athletics and any other event going on at this very special local landmark. Well, October has been another busy month, so let's take a look at what's been going on right here in the city of Newport News. And action. It's their moment to shine, as one local museum gets some national exposure and the opportunity to uncover a little mystery, thanks to its very knowledgeable staff and a wide array of priceless artifacts, and in particular this wooden box that holds the only known physical link to a very puzzling past. Jumbo fry. It looks so good you can probably taste it. And with food like that, it can only mean one thing, festival. And we take you for a little stroll through the park with fabulous folk life, and then onto the square for an art experience like no other. And these are the hallways of your public schools. 
quite crowded and a little intimidating, but best of all, safe, as we take you along to show you what the Newport News Police Department, in conjunction with the Newport News Public School System, are doing to make a difference in the lives of our children.